Hi, I'm Peter Kamstrom of Kamstrom.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I will show you how to remove site collections. In my previous demo, I created a bunch of site collections for one for each department. Now I'm going to remove them. So let's do that and find the remove here, PNP tenant sites. There we go. The URL, of course, is the one we want, and then we want to force it. We don't want to get any confirmations, and we want to skip the recycle bin also. So just kill it. So let's do that. And again, we're going to do a for each loop. I can copy a bit here. We're going to for each department, and then we're going to being removed. Move like that. And uh, let's put that to red, just to see that we're doing something dangerous there, maybe. Don't do this on a production site, of course. So let's do this, remove PNP P tenant site. The URL is, of course, going to be that site URL. And then we're going to do the force, not no confirmations. And then we're going to skip the recycle bin. All right, so let's clear out what we have there. Actually, you can do that with the clear screen command also, like CLS. There we go. And now let's see in my active sites. I have a bunch of sites there, one for each department. Great. Now I just want to remove them because I'm testing here and I'm learning how to script. So let's remove them. So let's run all ads. There we go. It's being removed. We're in red. HR is being removed. Uh, waiting, waiting, waiting. There we go. Now HR is gone and marketing should still be there. Let's see, HR should be gone here. Right, and it's gone. And it's not in deleted sites. They're being removed as we see it. All right, so all of the sites has been removed. So in this demo, we simply showed the remove a PNP tenant site. And we also used the for each loop. And we worked with an array, of course. Thank you for watching this demonstration.